Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy. I'm a math tutor from London, and today I'm going to teach you some basic mathematical concepts. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate beta. Now, what is beta? It, it, it's a measure of correlation between a stock and a basis uh, stock and in this case we're going to use the S&P 500. So if you were trying to calculate the returns of a stock compared to the S&P you would use beta and we'll, I'll show you how to calculate beta. So let's call Y the return of the stock and we're going to set this equal to A plus beta X. Now X is your return of your S&P 500 and beta is the return, this is what you're trying to calculate, is the correlation between y and x. So as x is very big, how about y? Does y also increase or does y decrease so it's negatively correlated? That's what we're going to try and find out. The best way to do this is to pick up historical data. And to do that, you would create a chart or a list with your stock returns. and your S&P returns. And you would list your stock returns over a one day. So we could have 1st of January 11, 2nd of January 11, all the way down to the end of the year. We could work out what that, that stock returned on that day and what the S&P returned on that day. And then we could basically create the data here. And once you've got the data there, you can draw a scatter plot. This is, this is the axis which you always use your control on, which of course is the S&P. And this is your stock return. And it would look something maybe like this. So there's a positive correlation. So when the S&P has a good day, your stock has a good day. When it has a bad day, your stock also has a bad day. So there's a positive correlation. Once you had the scatter plot of the data, and you can do this on a computer, you would draw a line of best fit straight through the data. So this is the line of best fit or a line of correlation. And with this data, you can see exactly where this one crosses the y-axis. This again is y-intercept. And this is your a value here. Exactly where it crosses this y-axis is your a value. And then the gradient of this line is your beta. So in this case, we have a positive correlation with the S&P, so we have a positive beta. If the line was to look like this, you'd have a negative correlation. So when the S&P has a great day, your stock would do badly, and vice versa. So once you've figured out the gradient of this line here, that gradient is beta. And you can use a, you can use a computer to calculate that, or you can, you can draw along here and up here. Calculate this distance here delta y, and this distance here, delta x, and then beta is equal to delta y over delta x. And that is how to calculate beta.